Hey guys, what's up? So in today's video we're going to do an unboxing of some DIY studio gear that I bought and I'm going to be building. I bought the PCB Grinders PQ2 EQ kit, which is a stereo analog EQ with step controls that's based off of the Pultec. So we're going to be building a, basically a Pultec clone or a design that's based off of the Pultec. Of course it has some changes, but the unit is a 2U uh, 19 inch rack mount um, analog EQ. It comes with everything that you need to build the kit from the circuit boards to every single component to the um, front panels to the knobs and it all comes in a nice box for a very reasonable price. So I suggest you guys head over to PCB Grinder if you guys want to check out what kits he has available for you guys to build. So I've already started on this kit um, as I received it a couple weeks back but I'm just going to go back to the unboxing videos that I took and I'll show you guys what we received. So we can see I've actually got one of the circuit boards here that I've already started to populate with uh, the resistors and caps and everything. So without further ado, let's go back in time and we'll check out that unboxing video. We'll see what's in the box and then over the next couple of videos I'm going to be showing you the process of building and assembling the EQ unit. All right, guys, so here we have the box from UPS. I'm just going to start to open it with you guys. So this is the first time I'm looking at all of the pieces. I've completely not opened this, so it's going to be a bit of a surprise for me, too. I hope it's going to be a pleasant surprise. I've heard good things about other people that have done the kits, and I'm really, really excited about this one myself. So here we go. Yeah. Right, so we just got a lot of packaging right now. Good bit of protection. And then right away, we've got our first um, PCB. Not sure which one of that is because, of course, we have a few. So this one's the the PCB for the uh, front panel, looks like, right? You can see all of these for the um, switches in the front. So we've got our two PCBs with us. That's great. Then we've got the various bags of all the components. So you can see we've got some switches here. Um, we've got the bags with all of the resistors, transistors. See, we've got um, here. We also have the actual case. So we've got little pieces of the steel side panel with um, some hardware and some screws to put together the case. So I'm just going to take out. You can also see here is the pair. Unfortunately, they've this pair of two has come out of the of the foam, but. We have the two pairs of output transformers, which are Lundahl LL5402 transformers. So there's four because it's a stereo unit. Here, I think these are the, yeah. This is the different uh, power trapos. So I think we've got, okay, so we've got two of those. Just gonna keep moving these components and pieces over as we unpack it. So here we've got um, all of the actual, we've got some switches here. We've got some of the caps for the switches and the knobs. Uh, we've also got the power plug, or the, you know, the jacks, the XLR, XLR combo jacks, or XLR jacks, I should say. So, we've got a whole bunch of components. Here's some more hardware screws for putting together, uh, for w putting the PCB inside of the actual case. So 
So here we have some really big capacitors. Here we've got a pair of tubes as well. So we've got all of our hardware. Here we've got the actual switches that bags here so we can see we've got the actual switches. I think that will be so easy for recall. Those are super crucial. And the last few pieces are the front and side panel. So we've got a beautiful printed front panel ready to go. Don't have to design everything. It includes this and all the side panels to put your beautiful unit in once you're finished building it. So gotta say it looks really, really well done. It's nicely machined, it's what cleaned up well. There's no leftover metal. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for the unboxing of the PQ2 by PCB Grinder. I really hope you guys are gonna join me and check out the next videos of the actual assembling of the kit. And then, of course, we're going to do some examples at the end and take a listen to how it sounds. Um, maybe even do some comparisons to some Pultec uh, EQ plugins. And we'll see how it sounds once we get it all assembled and have some signal passing through it. So if you guys like this video, please subscribe. If you guys want to see more, you'll also have to subscribe to see the next videos. Um, do me a favor, like this. Comment down below if you guys are building any um, DIY kits that I've never heard of. I'm looking to build a few more kits, and if you guys like this video, I'll definitely be filming um, the whole process of any of the DIY kits that I do. So until the next one, this is Studio Claritone signing out. See you guys.